welcome back in this session we are going to understand azure devops platform what is azure devops so azure devops is a platform that we can use for continuous integration continuous delivery and continuous deployment yes so as i have said in continuous integration continuous delivery we need to use some tool right so this we can achieve with some tool that what i have covered in the previous session right so for that we need a tool right and we are going to use azure devops so if you have watched the azure life cycle section and at least this video then you understood so when we say continuous integration and continuous delivery then we have different tasks right source code tool we have to build and test our application we need to deploy our application and most importantly we need to create a pipeline and for all these tasks we need a tool right for the different stage we have the different tool correct but here what we are going to do we are going to use one tool called azure dev ops okay so we are going to use azure dev ops tool so as i said here we see we have the different task right and using one tool azure dev ops we are going to do all these tasks yes how this is possible yes this is possible because azure devops has the different tool yes so azure devops is a platform and this platform has the different tool for the different task so it has the azure board azure repo azure pipeline azure test and azure artifact now let's understand all this one by one what is azure board so azure board is similar to the jira board what we have understood earlier so what we understood when we use a agile right so what is agile agile is a mindset agile is a culture then when we are doing agile way of software development then we need a tool to manage our task to manage our project to manage our features right for that we use a tool and tool was jira board so if you don't want to use jira board you can use azure board and we can get each and every feature what we have got in the jira board now next tool is azure repo so what is azure repo azure repo is similar to github yes this is source code management tool and so far in this course you have been seeing i have been using github as a source code management tool right bcs version control management tool right but if you want to use azure devops specific tool for vcs we can use azure repo and it support every feature what we have been using in the git hub next is the azure pipeline yes and this is most important tool we are going to use in this section for our continuous integration and continuous delivery so i'm going to talk in detail about this tool then we have the azure plans test plan so this is especially used when you want to use different tool and different feature to test your application in the qa environment in pre prod environment and then we have the azure artifact so this is the place where we can store our artifact once our artifact is ready from continuous integration right so artifact is ready then this artifact goes to where continuous delivery right so we can store this artifact in the azure artifact so most importantly in this section we are going to focus on azure pipeline for continuous integration and continuous delivery now question is how do we get this tool it's very simple and for learning purpose this is free so what you will do you will go and type 
sign up for azure devops then you will see these links okay so go ahead and open this link i have already opened this link sign up for azure devops and if you follow this step is going to create a azure devops platform for you but let me quickly walk you through because i have already created my azure devops platform okay so once you go here then scroll down okay so here what is prerequisite prerequisite is you already have a microsoft azure account means you have azure portal account and you already have right so if you have been following me you already got your account right so you as you you got your account so if you have your azure portal as your account then this is going to be very simple so if you have then go to the azure day offs portal okay so open this this link and if you see here now this is going to tell get started with the azure okay so if you click here then it's going to ask for sign up for the azure account and you already have azure account right so click here sign up for the azure account then this is going to ask for your username and password right and you see it's saying it looks like you already have the azure account right so i already have the azure account so i'm going to use my existing subscription now here you go to the azure day offs site go here and then you have to click on get started with the azure you see here get started with the azure once you click that then it's going to ask you try for free or pay as you go so please go with try azure for free after that this is going to ask for microsoft credentials means for you azure portal and after that once you do that then this will sign up with a newly created microsoft account for azure day offs where it will create a project for your account yes so once you do that then it will ask you to create an organization okay and then your organization will be something like this let me show you so this is my azure devops and you see here here my organization is the cloud advisory 22 okay again you can change this name but i have used the same name so if you see this is my azure portal and if you go here here you see this is my email id right the cloud advisory 2022 so using the same email id this is created a organization for me so basically your screen will look something like this so let me repeat once again if you go here and once you complete the sign up process then it will ask you to create the organization and this will look something like this then click the continue then it will create a organization for you and after that let me cancel it go back then you will come to the this page and from here you can go ahead and create the new project okay so this is simple now here let's understand what is organization and what is the project so let's go back to the slide and here this looks something like this so in azure we have concept of azure organization and the project not azure organization so in azure devops we have concept of organization and the project so once you create your azure devops platform then it's going to create a organization for you you see my organization is the cloud advisory 22 and once this organization get created within this organization we can create multiple project okay here within this organization we can create multiple project project one and project two and each project will have all this tool okay so as we have seen these are the different azure devops tool right azure board azure repo pipeline test plan and artifact means once you create a any project within your organization please try to understand 
So once you go and sign up for your Azure portal, then it's going to create a default organization for you. And within this organization, you can go ahead and create a project. And each project will have all these tools. If you go and create another project, project two, then it will have again all these tools. Now let's go ahead and see practically. So let's go to the Azure DevOps portal. And here you see, I have this project, the Epic book. Now you see, I have all these tools, right? Now, how do I create new project? Very simple. Click here and let's give the name mini finance. Okay, then give some description if you want and I want to be the private and create this. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Now this is going to create a new project for me. And once this project will get created, now you see in this mini finance, I have all these tools, right? This board, repo, pipeline, test plan and artifact. Again, I can go here. Now you see I have two project right so this is my organization right the cloud advisory 2022 and here i have within this organization i have two project one is the mini finance another is the epic book now you see in the epic book i have all this tool again in the mini finance i have all this tool okay now let's go ahead and explore all this tool one by one so let's go in the mini finance and here we have the board right so if you go in the board and as we have seen in the jira board right so we have the backlog we have the sprint right so we see all these features available over here so if you want to use azure board instead of jira board then you can is use from here and plan your project now let's go to the repo repo is again similar to the github so you can go ahead and bring your project over here so by default you see i have one repo called mini finance is got created i can go ahead and create a new repository if i want i can also go ahead and import a new repository if i want i'm going to show you in this in our coming session when we will do the lab okay then you can commit it push it you can create the multiple branch you can tag it you can create the pull request and all the feature what we see in the github this is also available here then we have the azure pipeline so azure pipeline i'm going to cover in the next session and this is very detailed topic and this is what we are going to do in this section then you have the test plan then again here you can create the different test plan for your qa and pre-prod environment you're not going to use this here then you will have the artifact to store our build okay so that's pretty much i wanted to cover here and in next session we are going to understand what is azure pipeline and then we will create our first pipeline for our mini finance application so that's pretty much for this session. Thank you so much. See you in the next session.